is good everybody welcome back to another my damn toys video today we're back with a top 10 video for you guys haven't done a top 10 in a minute though but at the same time man we're almost there we're almost one third of the way through 2022 makes me sick I might just vomit into the floor. That's just a joke, but it might happen. Seriously, though, we have been getting so many damn good figures this year, bro, that I have to do a top 10 on it. I gotta do a top 10 on it. This has been one of the best years in WWE wrestling action figure history, but since we are almost a third of the way through, I figured what better time than to do a top 10 WWE action figures of the year so far. What is my favorite 10 figures so far this year? Of course, this is going to drastically change once we reached the end of 2022, but I feel like it'd be a great staple. I can refer back to this video and be like, damn, that's where I ranked that figure? That's kind of crazy because it's not in my top 10 now or vice versa. You know what I'm saying? If you guys would like to see this for the AEW figure line as well, I can also do that, but I want to rank them, man. I want to rank the top 10 best WWE figures so far for 2022. I don't know if we'll do this again at the, I don't think we'll do it again at the halfway point, but we may do this at the eight month mark and then at the very end of the year because that way you'll get three different top tens there but this should be fun man i'm not even going to do honorable mentions i'm not going to do honorable mentions i'm going to dive straight into the top 10 and then we can refer at the end and you guys can let me know down below what your top 10 is or what your personal favorite figure is so far this year man but with all those things being said let's dive into it man let's rank them the top 10 wwe action figures so far of 2022 according to my damn toys of course according according to me this is only this is my ranking all right make your own ranking Alright man, so coming in at number 10 is actually the ringside exclusive SummerSlam Undertaker. This may actually come as a surprise or a shock to you guys, but I like this figure a whole lot from the neck down, man. You get the dead man ink on the pants. You do get the shirtless Taker torso we've been waiting on for years. You also get double jointed, big, muscly Undertaker arms, and the tattoos go up on the torso. I mean, this is a great figure. I hate the head sculpt. I really do. I do not like the head sculpt whatsoever, but this thing is literally a fix-up away from being a damn, damn good figure. I mean, it's still a damn good figure, but it takes it to the next level with some accessories, some maybe some cloth shirts, and a different head swap. This thing is going to be crazy good. So this guy is number 10. Coming in at number 9 is actually the Legend Series 14 Edge figure. I love this figure. I thought that they knocked it out of the park with the attire's choices. I think the head sculpts are fantastic. And this cloth jacket or entrance coat is outstanding. I think they did a top to bottom fantastic job on this. Double jointed arms, throwback edge, great looking figure overall. It's honestly hard to find some nitpicks about this figure. I think that they really did knock these out of the park, man. I, I love the Legends Edge. I think it is so good. But I did like the rest of the the rest of the the top ten, of course, better. But this is a just a fantastic piece, man. You got to add this to your collection. This is one of those that would be in the go buy it section on a Edge ranking video. The Legends Target Exclusive Hurricane, man. Another fantastic figure. This is by far the best figure in that set, I believe. The cloth cape is outstanding. The True Effects take on the classic 2010 basic Hurricane. The double jointed sleeved arms. An updated look at Hurricane here. This is just a wonderful selection of a piece, man. This, this is just one of those figures that gets you going. It is an outstanding piece. If you were back then, if you grew up in this era, if you witnessed this, you know that this embodies Hurricane to a perfect T. I I think that this guy poses around great. It's a perfect representation of the Hurricane, and it beats his Elite 75. This is a great Hurricane. I love it. This had to be on my top 10. This is an outstanding piece, and I'm glad to have it in the collection here. I actually have two of these, and I probably ain't done yet, Brad. These are probably going to be marked down to clearance soon, and that boggles my mind. Everybody needs to have this figure in their collection. Number six, we have the WrestleMania 38 Build-A-Figure Vince McMahon wave Shawn Michaels from WrestleMania 26. I know it's basically a re-release of the defining moments Shawn Michaels we got way back when, but it just captures him perfectly, man. I love the head sculpt with the five o'clock shadow. I love the entrance vest cloth accessory. The double jointed arms are great, and this gear has always been sick. I always love the cream, black, and brown like contrast that we got from this gear with his match with Undertaker at WrestleMania, and it just encapsulates that moment. It encapsulates 
encapsulates HBK. This is a great old guy, Shawn Michaels, and it's just perfect, man. This is a beast, and being such a big fan of Shawn and loving the Ruthless Aggression era of these pants in this style of Shawn is just beautiful in figure form. They knocked this one out of the park. I may have said Sean was number six, but coming in at number six is actually The Rock, the top picks Rock figure that should be hitting your Target stores right now. The 2023 quote unquote figure is so good, man. This formula they use for Rock is perfection. This is a perfect Rock figure from head to toe, and you get the sick jersey, which is why you see two figures. I have my like street backstage attire Rock with the jersey and the sweatpants, and then I have my wrestling gear in blue and silver. I love the gear. I love the head. I love the formula of Rock. This is like the perfect perfect look of rock from this era i love it it wraps it up in a bow i love the interchangeable hands i think if you pair this guy around you can make a just sweet rock figure and this was almost in my top five but there were some better pieces or some pieces i think i'd rather have but this is just a just mm, chef's kiss on this rock figure i love it it could easily be higher and i hope that people understand how good it is if you see the top picks rock and you don't own it you gotta put it in your collection Coming in at number five is going to be none other than Seth freaking Rollins. The Elite 93 Rollins is such a beast, man. If this thing had the right color gear and wasn't missing some stuff, and it was actually a gear that I really, really enjoyed, it would probably be higher on the list, but a double-jointed, updated formula Seth freaking Rollins with great head sculpt and double-jointed arms is just too good to pass up. It is in my top five. I love the head sculpt. I love that we have a beautiful-looking torso here, the double-jointed arms, the updated legs and kick pad formula they have used for Seth Rollins here. It is missing some paint apps and it's also not the right color and I do not even like this gear. I didn't like the gear when he wore it and here it is in figure form but if this was a better gear it would probably have been higher on the list but since it does have all these problems it is going to be at number five but I still love Rollins. I love this figure. I think it captures him perfectly outside of course your, your attire problems but this is still a really good piece and it made my top five. Making the number four spot is a women's figure. We have the Ultimate Edition Alexa Bliss. I love this figure. I love the two-in-one ability of it. I love both head sculpts. I like that you get two-in-one sort of a figure. I hope this thing hits retail because I'm going to have to grab a few of these for different fix-ups and things for the shelf. Absolutely. This is a unit, man. I like the gear. I love the cloth goods you get with the overalls and the overall dress. You get the sneakers there. The feet are a bit big, and it's not a perfect figure, but it's still really damn good. One of the better figures of the year for the women's side of figures. Years, it is going to probably end up making the top 10 at the end of the year. We'll have to see about that. We'll see where it falls. It's probably going to be one of the top Ultimate Editions as well, but this is a great piece. I love this Alexa Bliss figure. I think it's her best figure. This is one that you got to add to the collection. I like all the things going on with it. This is a standard for women's figures in our Mattel collections. At the number three spot, we have the top picks Rey Mysterio. I honestly believe in my soul that this is the best Rey Mysterio figure that they've made to date. The double jointed arms, the pink, black, and white gear is such a good contrast. I do have two of this, these figures. You're not seeing things. I did fix up one. The original is the one in the black gloves and the black boots, of course, but I did put some white gloves and white and black striped boots on the guy to fix it up to match the stripes on the side. It was a little surgery we did, and I think that really takes the figure over the top. You're dealing with just a perfect Rey Mysterio. His figures are so good at moving around, but you throw in some great looking gear and you take it to the next level. I wish it had a different head sculpt, but I just love the colors. The colors and the way his figures feel in hand. Rey Mysterios are the best figures that Mattel puts out to a T. Just the way they feel in hand, all the colors, all the different things you see with him. He is so damn good, and this figure is one of my favorites of the year so far, man. It's such a piece. I hope that people are able to find this. You're going to find this and The Rock, hopefully at retail everywhere soon you know it's i don't know if walmart's going to carry it because freaking shelves are stocked up with goldberg jeff hardy and roman but target is picking up this wave right now you need to get your hands on it this ray is outstanding Coming in at number two, we have the Elite Series 92 Adam Cole. Now, this would probably be the Chase figure as well. You know, I just have it standing in here, but I love the teal gear as well. I think that the teal gear is sweet. The Chase gear is even better. Haven't tracked that down just yet. I actually ordered another one of these on Amazon trying to obtain the Chase, and they sent me the regular version again. So I guess I struck out on that, but hopefully I can get my hands on the Undisputed Era camo gear very soon. But this Adam Cole is beautiful. The double jointed arms, the head sculpt, the gear it is fantastic. It really, really is. I love Adam Cole. I love the 
this figure. I think it captures him perfectly. Can't wait for our unrivaled version, but it's going to be very, very hard to beat this, this Elite here from Mattel. I think this is an outstanding figure. It comes in at number two for me. I love it a lot. If you're an Adam Cole fan, this is a must, and I, I adore this figure, man. It's so damn good. It moves around really good. I love Adam Cole, and this figure is outstanding. It's at number two for me. the number one spot we have the ultimate edition legends target exclusive batista figure man this is an animal pun intended it is a beast it does all the things man as a huge Batista guy, as a guy who grew up watching Batista's career sort of take off, this just embodies him perfectly. I love all the accessories. One of the, I think one thing that makes this figure so good for me is not only are the head sculpts perfect and like I love the way the figure looks from head to toe, besides the feet, the feet are my biggest issue. I still love just the story of Batista, the way he came up and that whole storyline with Evolution is one of my favorites in wrestling history of all time so to see that play out there and to have this figure represent that and watching that on national television week by week and having that unfold here before my eyes then getting this figure in hand as such a big fan of batista that is really what encaptures this figure and just kind of brings it to the number one spot for me man to, to add on top of that how beautiful it is and the double jointed arms and how good it looks in the t-shirt i mean it really is outstanding it had to be the number one figure for me so far will it remain number one as we progress to the end of the year we'll have to see but it's it's still one of those pieces that is so good and you have to obtain it if you have an option you got to grab it i hope to obtain more copies of this figure for fix-ups and other things but this is one of my favorite not only figures of the year this is one of my favorite mattel wwe action figures ever made and so it's going to be hard to knock this guy off the top of my list this year but we will have to see man batista comes in at number one but that is going to wrap up my top 10 wwe action figures of the year so far in 2022 thank you guys so very much for watching i'd love to know your top 10 down below or maybe some pieces that miss the cut or you think are really good or leave your top 10 or favorite figure down in the comment section man but i'm getting out of here subscribe to the channel follow me on instagram twitter and tiktok at my damn toys leave a like if you enjoyed and i'll see you guys next time stay blessed and have an amazing day you cross the line i've been